50 years ago, Paul Rokich watched the trees die. The deer leave. Grass wither and turn gray. Copper lay under the ochre mountains. To get it, man nearly killed the soil. You know, it's hard for people to understand now. In those days, it was just like this. See, there was no green here at all. He was a boy then, growing up in the old American smelter camp outside Salt Lake City. I just looked up there and I knew I was going to work on these mountains, and I stayed and worked and I never left. The ochres were so eroded, so polluted, experts told Paul they could not be saved. One moonlit night, he flipped over the Copper Company's fence, alone in a darkened desert with a knapsack and two trees. Skirting the guards, he clawed to the top of Black Rock Canyon and planted them at the foot of a dead willow. Rokish came again and again for 14 years, carrying thousands of trees. When he finally confessed his trespasses to company officials, he figured they'd call the county sheriff. Instead, they hired him. Again, I never measure how far you come. Uh, I'd rather measure how much you've done, see. Rokich found a way to turn 70,000 acres green again. It's in, your, it's in your mind, it's in your heart. And you know, you just know. From all his nights of trial and error, Paul developed trees that could survive in such a place. He didn't just scatter them, he let the wind do that sometimes hiking miles for just the right breeze. From this spot, five hybrid aspen trees can produce 2,000 more. I got my own things. I didn't, I, I didn't go ask for things, but you know, I'd never beg. I'd go earn the money and buy. He never had much. Before the copper company took him on, he worked construction. We had to take away from the kids to plant the trees, but uh, they never suffered, you know. Uh, How'd you keep all this secret for 14, 15 years? Oh, nobody go up there, no, because it was so barren, you know. Nobody go up there. Not even his wife knew. He, he just always went hiking. Uh, he didn't really explain what he wanted to do or what he really was doing. Paul couldn't wait on Mother Nature to reclaim the place. He plucked acorns and planted them wherever he could find good moisture. At first, experts were skeptical. Pretty little park. Now, Kennecott, the company that owns the land, has made no, no, Paul's no, no, environmental no, no. plan its policy. My dad, we worked here, he was sick. I mean, he never had anybody, you know. And uh, as far as planting that mountain, that's just something I knew I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, people just don't ever, now don't realize what it took to get a tree to go work. You remember, people never know. <laughs> Paul Rokich's life is like a seed. Millions land and never take root. His did. Bob Dodson, NBC News, Salt Lake City.